This video is a brand new program that I've written for an upcoming Vintage Computer Federation or Festival show in June of 2025 in Dallas. And so uh, these are scenes from Battlestar Galactica 1978 TV show. The first Battlestar Galactica. I saw these TV episodes while I was in California and was using a Tektronix 4051 computer at work. The Battlestar Galactica 1978 TV show featured Tektronix electronics equipment all over the bridge of the Battlestar and several Scenes were created using the Tektronix computers, both the 4051 and a 4081, which had a 19-inch screen. I've reproduced several of the scenes from the first couple of TV episodes, which were actually originally filmed as a three-hour movie, and later was split into three one-hour TV shows for syndication. So the scenes of number one through five are all from that original movie, quote, series of three uh, TV shows. Later in the season, number six, seven, and eight were uh, shown in other episodes. And... When I first got my Tektronix 4054 computer in 2000, I wrote a Vipers on Patrol uh, program, which displays five Vipers uh, side view. This year, as I was doing this program, I found a very interesting 3D CAD image uh, on the web and created a vector 3D CAD image number 10. And you have probably seen on my channel, number 11 is my Battlestar Galactica Cylon attack game from a couple of years ago. So let's begin with number one. Apollo and his brother Zach are flying a patrol, and he spots some kind of a ship peeking out of the clouds. It was obscured by clouds. And so this is my rendition of that scene. I actually filled in my clouds in order to better obscure the ship. Uh, what I see in the scene from the TV show is they had vector clouds and they didn't wait to fill up the uh, screen with the clouds, and so the ship isn't very obscured. <laughs> Let's go to the next shot. Apollo flipped a couple of switches on the dash and requested the computer search for what was the name of the ship? What it, what was it? So a couple of these images flashed, but there was no uh, voiceover. The computer was just going through a series of images of ships that it had. And I've put a title up there, not a match. Until the computer got to this image and wrote on the screen, Cylon Tanker Confirmation. So this was the ship that Apollo saw in the clouds, and he took a closer look, and all of a sudden, several Cylon Raider uh, spaceships took after him. So we'll go to the next scene.
And so in this scene, Apollo gets the monitor in his spacecraft to view the Cylons that are chasing him. And as it turns out, the Cylon ships are about uh, 30% longer and quite a bit larger than the uh, Viper ship that Apollo is piloting. So this scene is the four Cylons chasing Apollo. In the TV show, there was just triangles as shapes for the Cylons and an X for the shape of the Viper. And I thought, hey, we got we can do better than that now. And so I did these images from uh, images that I found on the web. Being a crack pilot, Apollo was able to get behind one of the Cylons and we see him targeting the Cylon and destroying that ship in the scene. But then Cylons are continuing to follow and there's a horde of them. And so both Apollo and Zack are really in trouble. Uh, Zack's Viper actually had one of the three engines uh, was hit by a Cylon shot. And so he's limping along closer to where the Cylons are. The uh, Viper in the center of the targeting circles is the Apollo uh, is Viper. And we've got four battle stars and a blinking condition red that uh, you did see a blinking condition red, but it wasn't in red in the TV show. My color, Tektronics 4054A, is able to display multiple colors, so I have titles in yellow. In a much later episode, Athena, which is Commander Adama's daughter uh, working on the bridge, was asked to uh, find the personnel in the fleet of ships, uh, both the Battlestar and the civilian ships, that had explosives experience. And Athena Station was in front of a Tektronix 4051 computer, and you saw briefly a shot on the computer screen, like what you see here, of a report from the computer of people with explosive experience. Some, the first four names, are from a prison barge or several prison barges. And then there are two people on the Battlestar itself, uh, two sergeants with weapons uh, and explosives experience. The neat thing in the TV show was Next to Athena's 4051 was a 4631 Tektronix hard copy unit. And by pressing a single button, the hard copy button, uh, on the keyboard, a couple of seconds later, and no sound, the image on our screen of this report came off the printer, black and white. She handed it to Colonel Ty behind her. and. That was really a great use of computing technology long before we had it in our fleet. But I later discovered that the Tektronix, the second generation 4052 computers, were actually deployed in Navy submarines uh, around the world. And we have a person uh, that I know from his web reports that was one of the operators of the 4052 uh, in one of our nuclear submarines. Commander Adama would sit in his office and do a log 
speaking into a microphone, and on the screen in front of him, uh, the computer would recognize what he was saying, voice recognition, which didn't happen uh, in computers in the 70s, uh, but uh, this looked cool, is as he spoke, the word showed up, and you see a blinking orange cursor. Uh, there was a blinking rectangle cursor, uh, but it was in green in the show. Indicates that he's paused here. And then he picked up and finished what he was saying. And Tektronix screens, storage tube vector graphic screens, need to be cleared in order to continue. So right here, to continue, we clear the screen and we get the rest of uh, the Commander Adama log. And he did several logs throughout the show. So that was another really interesting use uh, of computers. Another thing that happened in Adama's office is they had found uh, on a planet with the pyramids, and that's in the on the left side there, they had found a legend indicating that their ancestors had to leave planet Cobol and in their journey away from basically the doom on their planet, a bright star appeared out of nowhere, they said, and guided them to safety. And so that's what the icons of the top two lines uh, represent is Cobol on the left, the trouble, let's flee. They landed on the same planet with the pyramids and found uh, this map, star map, it, it wasn't very specific, and then they all finally made it to Earth, the planet on the right. Difference in the picture we see on Commander Adama's screen as he was looking at this legend is I filled in the star to make it a little brighter. This shot was not in the TV series, but was on a website that I found in 2000 when I got my 4054. And the author of that website had a computer history museum, and this was on his page, the first one that he had put on having to do with computers in TV shows or movies. And what he said, he had uh, pointed out an article that had Lauren Green, Commander Adama, uh, sitting in front of Tektronix equipment, and it was a Tektronix newsletter about the Battlestar Galactica 1978 TV show. Another picture that he had in his article was a plot, and you've seen one of my videos of a Tektronix plotter. And basically, the plot had five vipers in series like this uh, that the author of the article said was from a Battlestar Galactica tape that he said was making the rounds after the TV show. And I don't know if he was describing a videotape or a computer tape, since these computers used uh, digital cartridge tapes. Uh, it could have been that kind of tape. And if that was the case, it would have only been viewable uh, on someone's computer. So that was all possible after the TV show. Uh, and so I took that image of uh, the plotter image, digitized one Viper, uh, and then wrote a program to draw it on my 4054 and 4052 computers in 2000. And then I resized it 
to get the smaller ones and reposition them on the screen. And so this image is my tribute uh, to the Battlestar Galactica TV show. And this is a 3D CAD image uh, that I found, actually a bitmap, or I mean a picture that I digitized with Inkscape into vectors uh, because the bitmap takes too long to draw. And so a side view of the Battlestar, an isometric view in the middle uh, towards the front, and one towards the rear, and then the patch in the middle at the top is was on the Viper pilot's uh, uniform on their shoulders. So it's a shoulder patch of the Colonials. And I found a MIDI uh, music composition that was the Battlestar Galactica theme song from the 1978 TV show and converted it to Tektronics music format. Uh, this R12 fast graphics cartridge also had the ability to play music, musical notes from uh, and I took this from sheet music that I found to spice up my program. So hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Uh, if you're in Dallas uh, in June, I think around June 20 to 22, uh, I would highly recommend going to this computer show. It's a vintage computer show. So there'll be lots of uh, really old computers, including mine. Uh, on display and exhibition uh, at this show. Stay tuned for more on my channel.